It's me. It's me. It's Driver 53. Welcome back, everybody. And today we have a special challenge episode. The Shaman Man Games has challenged me and a bunch of other YouTube creators to show off our top 10 tractors. These can be any tractors in the game that we want. And I would like to show you mine. I'm sitting here at the Gold Coast restaurant and just, just enjoyed a nice big juicy burger with some fries. That's right, I'm here on Ravenport. A nice, uh, the, the base game American map here. And I've got a tractor, the first one on the list, number 10, that I don't think many people would see here in the United States. That's right, it's a dude's fire. Now, you you may be wondering, why did I choose a dude's far? The color, y'all. <laughs> and it's number 10, okay? I'm going to work my way up to the top. But this bright green, awesome dude's far, it's a 9290 TTY, or TT, ooh, is it a Y or a V? TTV, sorry. Um, I like it. And I used it on my Six Ashes series, and it's not a bad tractor at all. So let's, uh, you know, take a look. you got the PTO in the front, the front attacher. Awesome. You've got the rear one also. Um, the, the window out the back, you can kind of see what's going on. It's really nice. And uh, let's go ahead and hop inside. We'll take a look inside the cab really quickly. So I don't know if that's a cup holder. I think that's an AC vent over there. And um, there's... No cup holder. I think that's another AC. Is that an AC vent? You know, I'm so confused on these. But, it's still, it's a nice tractor. It's got a lot of nice stuff going on with it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start this thing up. So, it's got a really nice display. I really like it. You know, if I turn on the signals, you can kind of see what's going on. Right? I've got the hazards here. These are beacons on top, so I'll show you that. I've got the beacons going on. And these are the hazards, right? So we'll turn all that off. we got the lights also. So if I hit single light, a little bit more. Look at all those lights. And then this is the crazy ones in the front. So, I mean, if you guys look at this. I mean, that is a crazy amount of light. I mean, really, it is. That's why this tractor is number 10 on my list. So, what we're going to do now is turn off the lights, obviously, and we're going to go ahead and drive to my next tractor. So we're going to get to hear this thing, too, what it sounds like, and kind of how it handles. I don't think we're going to get it up to top speed. Oh, we did! 39! Alright, so here is number 9. Now let me park on this side of the road over here. Alright, we're going to turn this one off, and we're going to come over here. So, this one is a very, very nice color red. This is actually a matte red and the matte black on the wheels. And it's a Massey Ferguson S7226. This is actually the 40th anniversary special of this one. And I used this one on Six Asses also for a short time. But I really liked it. It was a nice powered vehicle um, for doing what I was doing, mowing grass and you know hauling grass bales and everything like that on the the uh the trailers huge number like 42 um at a time so it's got the front attacher the rear attacher it's awesome holds a lot of fuel so we're gonna go and hop inside here and do the same thing take a look at the inside first and a couple one display pretty good there's another display in the dash but it's got cup holders y'all that's what makes this one number nine on my list. It's got cup holders. Now, once again, I can't put anything in them right now because I just ate lunch. I already finished up my sweet tea. But this one is another awesome one. Um, it's got pretty good horsepower, too. This one is like 265, 280, somewhere in that range. So it's really nice uh, horsepower, medium, medium level. Um, I say medium. Some people might consider that high. But you'll understand why I say medium here in a second. Um, I love the mirrors. 
there's two of them there. Like I said, one over here. You can see what's going on behind you. And when you look behind, it doesn't have the pass-through like the other one does. But you can still kind of see what's going on. You should be able to get centered up on this one. No problem. And, um, yeah. It's got the radio. It's got the AC. Um, so if we look here at the turn signals, you can't really see what's going on. At all. But on the outside, you can see I've got the beacons, I've got the hazards, I've got left and right. So this is our first stage of lights. So as you can see up front, decent lights, decent. So we come back around back, it's pretty good. I mean, you got six lights shining back there. Now if we go back around front to show this, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And let's see if this does anything. Now, I don't know what this exactly does. It's like another light that I have on my side panel, but I don't see actually where it comes from. So I just get a little bit farther light out. So, um, you know, this is the Massey Ferguson again. So let's uh, drive on down to the next one, y'all. So this was number nine. Okay. So, like I was saying, it's medium on the horsepower to me. Because... We'll take a little shortcut right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, we got... Um, sorry about that. Hold on. Are we going to roll it all the way? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. That's just some more of my awesome driving, y'all. <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. Did not intend for that to happen. But, like I was saying... High on the horsepower list is the next one. It's not super high, but it's high. So we're going to turn this one off, get out, and we're going to go over here. So this is number eight on my list. It's a Case IH Quad Track 535. It's a little bit older design, right? It's uh, articulating, and instead of you know the single, it's got nothing on the front except a bunch of weights, which you can uh, walk up on which I think is pretty cool. Get up inside there. Um, it's got a regular hitch on the back is the way I like it. Now all of these are the all of these tractors that I'm showing off today are the way that I like to use them in the game or have used them in the game. Did I leave all the lights on? Eh, we'll come back and fix that later. I don't think the battery will die. So let's hop in this one and once again, we'll take a little tour. I'm going to do this before I turn anything on and check that out right there in the middle, in the back cup holder <laughs> that's right number nine and number eight both have cup holders it's awesome so we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy on so check out that right there did you guys see that watch the screen right there in the front it's got like a loading symbol on it until it gets fired up and then it goes that is awesome so once again AC radio we're good there and a bunch of other buttons, nice little console here. Like I said, this is a little bit older unit. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this thing back off and then bring you out here because it's really loud. That's the only thing I don't like about this. Now, if I turn on hazards, you can see lots of them, right? If we look on the inside, I don't see anywhere that it's showing me that I have hazards on right now. So you can't really see that from inside. Now let's t turn it on and see, can we see anything on this display right here? No. Alright, so we're going to turn them back off. Now this is my beacons up top. And I don't actually have any. Huh. Try that again. Nope, no beacons on this one. Alright, so lights. I'm just going to go ahead and throw all the lights on on this one. Because like I said, this is loud. So that's all the lights you have in the back. Typically with this, all you'd be doing is like hauling like a big plow or something, maybe a cultivator, planter. I don't think you need a ton of lights, but you could definitely have some more on this. So we're going to hop back on the inside and turn off the lights, fire it up, and we're going to go to our next one. And this one's somewhere around like a 515, 535 range on the horsepower. I can't remember the exacts on this. I'm sorry. If I remember it, I'll put it down as text on the bottom. So I really enjoy driving this one. 
I mean, it's very responsive. Um, and by using the tracks, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Um, unlike this next one. <laughs> this next one is a beast. Absolute beast. So here's number seven on my list. All right. It is a Case IH Steiger. It is the AFS 620 HD. We get this one in the nice, bright neon green. I don't know the exact num or name for it, but this one is awesome. I mean, even the Case logo is in green here. So, huge duels on this thing. Big duels. I've got just the regular hitch set up. I've got the American spec on it instead of the UE. And this one, you can see, has just a couple more lights on it. Not... Oh, do you guys see that? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. It's right there anyway. But check it. There's cup holders in the seats. I never realized that. That is so awesome. But there is a cup holder right there. So, we're good. All right. So, let's uh, hop in this thing. Check out the cab really quickly. So this one's a little bit newer, but once again, cup holder right there. And I wish I could fold that down so I could use it. Hmm. I'm going to have to start checking that out on other ones. Because I've never even thought about it being on the back of the seats. I guess it's my fault for not knowing. If you're not checking. So, let's go ahead and throw this thing on. So a nice display. It doesn't have the load like the other one does, so it's instantaneous and you're good to go. Um, yeah, let's uh, check out the lights really quick. So I'm going to turn the turn signal on. I got no indicator on the inside. Same on the other. If I do this, nothing. I don't think I have any of those. So like I said, again, we'll throw all the lights on really quickly. So I'm going to turn this thing off, zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. So there's six lights back here, and they seem to be a little bit brighter. I mean, that's not too bad. But then we got two lights on the side here. And two lights on this side here and then we've got eight lights pointing out front so it'd be nice maybe to have a couple more on the front here um, but once again I don't think you necessarily need it so this is articulating again so let's fire this bad boy up we'll go back to the inside view and we will take off now this one is like 692 horsepower this is an absolute monster it takes up the road like the whole road here I mean, it is crazy I think the only things bigger is like maybe a big butt on trips so the next one though is is nice so we did number 10 9 8 this was 7 so this one right here is gonna be number 6 for us all right number 6 is gonna be it was one of my very first ones that I ever, ever played. All right. It is the uh, Case IH 7250 Pro. This is a Magnum, as you can see right there. I like to do it with the attacher in the front and a little bit different setup on the front end. It's very similar to one that a family member of mine had on a farm in Illinois. So. I like to run it with duels in the back also. And uh, let's hop in this thing. So really quickly, we'll check out no cup holder. I mean, that thing right there, maybe I could use the little flap thing, um, but no cup holder. So I don't even see it anywhere in the dummy seat, or in the, uh, not the dummy seat. Bandit, old Bandit Gaming got me saying that, and I needed to stop, that's his thing. I call it the jumper seat, um, or the shotgun seat, one or the other. Not that what he says it is bad, I just never called it that before. I like the Magnum sticker right above the windshield too. So when I turn this thing on, it doesn't have a fancy display, but you know it doesn't have the indicators either. So we'll come out here, I've got the beacons. We're all good there. You can see that, see that. So let's turn on the lights. That's front lights. Let's look at them. Oh, let's look at them really quick. Just the simple stuff. When we flip on the back, we get a couple more. 
And then when I flip on the front again for the second stage, we've got a couple more. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually a couple lights down, down underneath on this one. It's awesome. I don't know why they're down there, but it's awesome. I think it's so you don't run over cats and stuff. So, like I said, this was number six. So let's uh, traverse on up to number five. So, I like this setup in a dually, or uh, the duels in the rear. Because, you know, typically with these higher horsepower and these smaller ones, you would need all that traction, right? Um, and the next one is going to be the exact same way. The exact same way. Now, I have definitely used this one in the past. The Shaman Man has used this one, currently using it, a variation on it at least, um, on a couple of his plays, play uh, series. But this one right here is the Case IH 1455XL in the Beast. It's got to be the Beast. Absolute awesome, awesome one. So it's got tons of lights on it, as you guys can see. And I love to run this thing with duels. Absolutely love it. And it's got the back window here too, so I can see what's going on. So let's go ahead and hop in. And I believe this is the 1996 version. Yes, it is. So. 1996 version um, if we go and hop on the inside here it's a little bit more cramped feeling because obviously it's a smaller tractor but check it y'all I got a spot right there where I can throw my tumblers at and keep my drinks nice and safe I don't need no cup holder in this one but there's the back window so you can see what's going on and you can also see that there's no fancy display on this one. Let's fire it up. Got a turn signal on. I don't see it. I don't see it. Beacons. Indicators. Nope. Turn the lights on. Now do we have anything? Nope. Turn the rear lights on. Big ones. Alright. So front lights. Let's go check them out. This thing is loud. Sorry y'all. Here let's turn it off real quick. Oh I did it again. So on my side panel here, my joystick, it uh, I got a button that I can easily turn off this rotate. It's kind of annoying. So that is one set of lights for the front. If we hit it again, we're going to get the backs. And there's not much back here at all. It's like two lights. And then if I hit it one more time, I get two more lights on the front. So it's not the best one to be doing work at night in. But it's an awesome tractor. Awesome tractor. So, let's go ahead and take this one on up to the next one. To number four, right? Yeah. Yeah, number four. So this guy is number five. So, like I said, this was the very first tractor that I started using when I started making content. And I absolutely love this tractor. Now, my family, we never... Anybody that was on a farm never had one of these beast versions, the black ones. We always had red. Um, but I love it. Absolutely love this thing. So, now we are at number four. Now, a lot of stuff that I've shown so far is Case. And I will admit, I am a Case fan. This one's not Case, though. It may look like it from a distance. But it's not. We got a New Holland T8 435. We've got the tracks on the back and some nice big old wide tires on the front. Yeah. We got the chromed out grill. We got the silver paint scheme. The you know special edition badging. This thing is sleek like a show piece would be. We got the tinted out windows. Oh man. We got the regular attacher on the rear of this and I just want to look at that seat and I can't see it from here all right so let's go ahead and uh, hop in this thing so as you can see the windows are a little it's a little bit more difficult to see out of them right and I'm looking around looking around cup holders all right <laughs> we're good so let's go ahead and fire this thing out Nice display over there. Oh, we got a train coming by. 
So let's um let's see if we got any indicators. So I'm doing a left turn signal right now and I got nothing. Do a right turn signal. Still got nothing. I do hazards, nothing. And the beacons. I got nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and we'll do the lights now. Front lights. Got pretty decent. We got what like six lights? I mean that's pretty good. We'll do it again around back here. We got six more lights in the back. So I mean it throws up pretty good light. And then we get another two and kind of some little ones down there. So the reason I like this one so much at number four is the customization. And I was playing in a map and I made a bunch of different I used the same one to save on slot space, slot count. And I had them all different colors. There were so many different options and things that I could do with this mod that it was awesome. And it's before the AFS Connects came out. So this was my big tractor that I used, my big medium tractor that I used often before those hit the market. I think I just gave away one of my picks. So let's, um, let's stroll on up to number three, shall we? And also, I mean, this one is just, like I said, there was so many different things that I could do with this one that really, really made it a nice tractor to use in a lot of different scenarios. The horsepower range on this thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, we're going to turn over here. So you guys might be wondering what's in my top three. And you're, you're probably thinking case. Right? Case all the way. But, this one almost made it to number three. A New Holland. But this guy right here is my number three favorite tractor. Let's get out. Let's go see what it is. And I'm sure you guys are going to recognize this. This is my Fent 820. It's a Vario TMS version. This is the one that I'm using on six ashes right now I was hesitant extremely hesitant to use Fent but because the starting tractor there was a Fent I was like you know what we're gonna give it a go the New Holland dealership is there but I'm like you know let's go with Fent for a while and y'all I love this tractor it is great it's got 212 horsepower it's absolutely perfect for doing smaller jobs around the farm and on a European map Oh my god, you don't need a 600 horsepower beast, right? You might need a 350, maybe 400. That's a big tractor on that Six Ashes map. Um, so yeah, let's, um, you know, this is the way I run it. I run it with um, whatever paint scheme you guys would call this. I love the color. Absolutely love the color. Black rims. I run it out with the wide wheels and the wheel weights. And uh, let's hop in it. So we're going to go ahead and jump on the inside of the cab view. And as we're looking around, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's no cup holder. But it still makes my top 10. It's got a little bitty seat right there. I love it. You can like barely fit on it. I love it. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. So it's really nice. I love how big and open everything is in the front and you look around you can see what's going on out there for the most part the seat is in the way a little bit but let's check out the indicators if I got a left turn I can see it if I got a right turn I can see it if I turn on the hazards we can see it if I turn the hazards off and only turn on the beacons can't see it so I'm gonna turn on the lights that's front lights, just normal. Two and two right underneath the mirrors. Hit it again. I'm gonna swing around back down. You've got four lights that point out back. And we're gonna swing around one more time to the front and check that out. You have six additional lights now on this thing. Another great reason why this tractor is in my top three at number three. So we're gonna turn the lights off. We're gonna hop back in the inside. And we're going to go for a little drive now. So, I, like I said, I was extremely 
extremely surprised by this tractor. I will be using this tractor on a lot of other stuff in the future. This tractor and other fence in general, not just this tractor, but other fence too. It's an awesome one. Absolutely awesome. I uh, I don't know, excuse me, why I waited so long to uh, try out a Fent. And I'm really glad that I did Six Ashes because it made me realize the potential of these things. And I'm super excited about it. So, we're crossing over a bridge now. Gonna have a little bit of a uh, off-road excursion. I'll show you how awesome this tractor is also. It can take the bumps, the hills, the twists, the turns, it can do it all without going in the water. So it's got a really good turning radius. That's what I love about this thing too. It's small, nimble, able to get where a lot of the other ones can't. Right? So we're going to keep going up here. We're going to climb a little bit over this. And then we're going to go back down through here. There we go. And you guys can see my number two pick sitting over there. We're going to cross to this water. Watch this. It can do it all. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to leave this bad boy sitting right here. So this one right here, this is my number two. And I think I need to take it up on the hill and get it away from the water. I didn't think this part through very much. Let's take it up there real quick. So while we're doing this, I can kind of show off the interior a little bit. Or I can just talk about how awesome this thing climbs and just climbs. And there's no hesitation. This thing is a rocket ship. I mean, this is a pretty steep hill, y'all. I don't know if y'all realize how steep that hill is right there. That's pretty steep. So we're going to take this thing over here in the field. And we'll show it off a little bit. Get it in the sun so you guys can see it. Now you may be asking yourself, why do I have a star? Well, it's not a star. This is a case IH, it's the Puma, the AFS 240 with the CVX. Uh, sitting on tracks. I got the front attacher on it. I got the rear attacher on it. Man, I've got so many lights up there. I've got the front attacher like I like to run. Um yeah holds a lot of fuel let's go ahead and hop in here now we'll do the inside tour for real so what is that right there cup holder so exciting there's even a mirror right here so if I'm looking out this way I can see what's going on in front of me right that's so awesome so awesome even got case IH on the seat so let's go ahead turn this bad boy on now this one right here I get it with the 300 horsepower it's the highest you can get on one of the Pumas is in this setup right here so we're gonna turn on the left signal no indication right signal no indication hazards nothing beacons they're up there and that's hazards. So let's go ahead and turn on the lights in the front. You guys can see. Similar, we get four lights. Two headlights and two underneath the mirrors. So now whenever we kick on the back, look what happens. You've got six lights pointing out back, and you've got a light on each side that points straight out. And these right here kind of go at an angle. So it's a huge, huge window. Right? So now we're going to hit the fronts, and watch this look at all of that you just got eight more lights with this thing this is why this is number two and the color options on this you name it you can get it if you want a brown one of these you can get it you want pink you can have it white you can have it if you want a red white and blue one of these you can have it if you want you can't have gold though gold and silver not yet all right, moderator or mod modders. If you're looking for something, gold. So we'll hop back in here. We'll see how well this one drives. I mean, we already did coming up. So this is number two. I used this one all the time. 
all the time. I mean, this was my mid-range tractor. And I say mid-range because I didn't um, really go under this a whole lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and park right here. And up here on the hill is my number one. So when we get out of this thing... Beautiful map. I mean, it's not as beautiful as some of the new mod ones, but it's a beautiful map. So, behind this tractor is my number one favorite tractor at this time. Today is October 8th, 2020. On October 9th, there might be a new one that drops that I'm going to absolutely fall in love with. But on the 8th, today, this is my all-time favorite tractor. Y'all ready for it? All right, here we go. Oh, there's a rock. Alright, oh, here we go. <laughs> this is my favorite tractor. This is the Case IH AFS Connect Magnum 400. I get it with the tracks all the way around. The wide tracks, too, not just the normal. And I don't know if you guys can see these tracks, they are 3D tracks. They're not normal, like just an image. They are 3D tracks. I get it with the front PTO and attacher. No lifter on this one, no front lifter. But I also get it in the American spec and I get it with the Quick Connect. The Quick Connect looks so awesome on this thing. And tinted windows, for sure. So let's hop up in here. So, quick tour around the inside. You can see what's going on out the back window. You're setting up high enough, you can see it. For sure. Tons of stuff going on in here. Cup holder! Had to have it on number one. Had to have it. So, turn this bad boy on. Alright, there we go. All right, so I just wanted to check one thing really quickly. Check this out. Did you guys see that? The steering wheel came down and it goes back up. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> All right, now check this out, another button. Number five takes out my indicators. So we're good. So now when it's down like this, Yeah, that's the only thing it does. Okay, so there is another one that I like that I didn't put on the list that does some other stuff, but not this one. So, I love, love, love this tractor. Um, so let's show off the indicators. Got a left turn signal, and look right there on that display. You can see it. Right turn signal. Got my hazards. Turn them off. So, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of that little display, my beacons actually show up down there in the bottom left hand corner isn't that awesome if I got my normal lights on I got my rear lights on I got all my lights on I got the beacons on I got the hazards on I got everything on that display going right now y'all I love that absolutely love it you know you guys might know that I'm a tech guy I love tech like tech's so cool in farming you can do so many things so I'm going to go ahead and show you the front lights. Not too bad. we got four lights right now, right? So then you come around to the back. And this one's kind of the same way. You've got six lights pointing the back, and you've got a light on each side that points kind of sideways and backwards a little bit. Now, when we flip around to the front, whew, you guys ready for this? Look at that. That thing looks awesome coming down the road at you. All right, so this is what it is. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I'm going to try this one too. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I do have that extra button, so it just doesn't do anything. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get those other two lights to work one of these days. I just don't know. Oh, it's because of those. That's why. 
their indicators. That's pretty cool. I've never watched it from the front. So, let's hop back in it, and we're going to go ahead and fire this thing back up. And uh, take it for a little spin here real quick. So yeah, this was my absolute go-to favorite tractor. This is my favorite tractor for for large. Now, not like super, super large, but this thing is well over 400 horsepower. All right. It will do just about anything you need it to. Now, it is a little bit difficult to see out unless you're a short driver. If you're a normal height driver, it is a little bit tricky on that. But, I mean, it's 32 miles an hour. This thing is absolutely rocking. So, that concludes my top 10. What do you guys think of it? Do you think there's something else that I should be looking at? I mean, the Valtra, I like that one too. The seat where it spins around, but it just didn't make the top 10 yet. I haven't used it enough, I don't think. You know, the Stara, it was pretty nice too. Um, I know I don't have any green in here right now. That green. Um, but I might. They can, make, they can make their way in here. I'm not, not afraid of that. Um, I also don't have any cloths in here. I just haven't used them yet. Now, there are some other New Hollands that I do use occasionally. They just, um, I haven't used them enough. Same thing. So, I think if you ask me in three or four months what my top ten is, it's going to change a little bit. I don't know how much, but I'm sure it will. So, we're going to run on the railroad tracks here. Oh, my goodness. That was cool. We should probably get off the railroad tracks. How about that? <laughs> so, but yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for today, everybody. You know, I appreciate it. And like I said, this was part of the top ten tractor challenge that was first made by the Shaman Man Games. And if you're another YouTube creator, um, go ahead and throw together. A video I challenge you show us all your top 10 make sure you hashtag it top 10 tra tractor challenge so we can all uh, see all the different videos make sure you put it in your description not just um, in your tags but actually in the description hashtag top 10 tractor challenge that way we can all see the hashtag click on it and just jump between all the videos that way we can all see what everybody's top 10 is easily and you may be able to find some other content creators too that way if you're looking for some some more people to check out or you know seeing what they're all doing oh oh so I'm gonna keep driving this thing I love driving this tractor I'm just gonna keep going um, but y'all y'all can feel free to to take off to go check out some other people there's a lot of other European farmers that have a lot different top 10 than I have I can tell you that right now but once again, thank you very much for stopping in, everybody. And until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.